everyone, it is Jazz here. Today is the first day of the Summer Biannual Bibliothon 2018, and today's video challenge is called the Creative Book Recommendation Challenge. So the idea behind this is to try to recommend books in a new and exciting and kind of creative different way. And I brainstormed and I thought it would be really fun to try to recommend books to fictional characters from books. I have picked out a few great fictional characters that I really enjoy and I'm going to try to recommend them books based on their personality or just their story journeys that I think they would like. And let's jump in to this recommendations video. <laughs> First up, I'm going to try to recommend a book to Richard Mayhew from the book Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. Richard is one of my super favoritist characters. He's an adorably awkward Scotsman who's just living his normal life and then he tries to help this mysterious girl who has assassins after her and then ends up falling into this crazy underground London experience with urban fantasy insanity. For Richard, I'm going to recommend a book that I recommend on this channel quite often because I want everybody to read it. And that book is Tad Williams's War of the Flowers. So this is about a man named Theo who ends up falling into a bunch of craziness when he finds out that there is a parallel world to ours, which is a fairy world, and he discovers that a bunch of these fairies are after him. They want to kill him for some reason, and he doesn't know why. The reason I would recommend War of the Flowers to Richard Mayhew is I think Richard would really relate to Theo's journey and that both of these characters go through an experience where they go, how did I get here because I did not ask for for this really terribly hard journey and this series of terrible, horrible, bad days. War of the Flowers is definitely something Richard could relate to. And the worlds in these are different enough, even though they're both fantasy worlds, that it wouldn't be too, too close to home. I thought it would be fun to recommend something that both Eleanor and Park would like from Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. This is a book set in the 80s about two characters who basically develop a quirky romance despite their kind of different life experiences. Eleanor and Park both really like comic books. Eleanor discovered comic books through Park and it becomes kind of their reading thing and they like to read comics together and discuss them and things. So I decided for them to pick a graphic novel that I thought they would enjoy and I went with Zot by Scott McCloud. This book is about a young girl named Jenny who lives in our world, our normal world, and she is also sort of friends, but more than friends, with a guy named Zot, who lives in a utopian version of the normal world that's kind of parallel to our world. And they have a very interesting relationship because they obviously come from two different worlds, but they also have a very endearing relationship. And I think this is something that both Eleanor and Park could really relate to in terms of that. Also, I think this would be something that really has some interesting concepts that Eleanor and Park would love to discuss. I thought this last one should be a super challenge character, like one that's really hard to find a book for. And I decided to try to give a recommendation to Elizabeth Salander from The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. This is a challenge because I feel like Elizabeth would become very easily bored with anything that I personally would pick out in terms of fiction. She's not a fiction type reading girl. You know what I mean? Mostly because she's not the warmest and she's also probably got identic memory and a really high octane kind of mind. So, you know, fiction's probably not gonna be her gig. She's more of the advanced mathematics kind of reading type, but I don't read advanced mathematics. So I tried to think of a fiction book that maybe she would get a kick out of and just like kind of burn through really quickly. And I decided to go with The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I feel like she would enjoy this because I feel like she would get a kick out of holding Caulfield. Also, he's not the warmest person. He also kind of thinks everybody's a phony and I feel like secretly Elizabeth feels that a lot. I think they both are characters that are very disillusioned by the world and how the world treats 
people and so thus I think at least even if she got bored with it she would relate to it. As a long shot sort of recommendation for Lisbeth, she might enjoy Wicked by Gregory McGuire. Alphaba and Lisbeth have a weirdly similar kind of journey and it is a very political uh, sort of book, a political allegory kind of book and also Alphaba likes to discuss, you know, philosophy and I feel like maybe Lisbeth could find something deep in this semi-fantastical book. Both of them are kind of a long shot because like I said, she's not a fiction person, but I wanted to try. <laughs> that was my day one challenge video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me recommend books to fictional characters. Let me know in the comments what kind of books you would recommend to fictional characters below because it could be a really interesting read for me and also it might recommend some cool books to me. And that is it for today, my fabulous peeps. I will see you tomorrow. Bye!